Hey guys, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.0 and the time. The time has finally arrived. We're going to hit start game here and we are not going to resume our sandbox. If you've been missing our sandbox play, why don't you click on Valentina here and see what I've been doing there. We are actually going to be hitting the start new and indeed we are going to be doing a career mode. We are going to open a company, uh, Twitch Tech. We are, we're not going to call it Twitchy Tech. It's going to be Twitch Techie. Yes, just like that. Brilliant. Because we're a techie company, right? That's how it goes, yeah. Uh, so I have previously mentioned that I like this new flag. I'm not sure if it's a new flag or whether it's just escaped my notice for all this time. But we're going to be taking that flag and yeah, let's get started. All right, look at this beautiful new world. Not a single rocket has been launched from here. Not a single plane has taken to the skies. Uh, Hi Gene, we're back. We're gonna we're gonna try and do some things a little bit differently this time. Well, at least that that's my plan anyway. Um, anyway, let's come over into the mission control and see what Gene's got for us today. We will be launching our first vessel, of course. I mean, it's our first uh, stab at career mode. It's all really that we've got to aim for. Uh, and we're also going to be gathering some scientific data from Kerbin. Okay, the, these two are a little bit out of the reach of our first launch, or at least I expect, I expect it is. If it's not, then, you know, that, that's the way things go. All right, so back in the VAB, the place where we, we belong, really, isn't it? Uh, we're going to uh, get a little launch pad on the go here and then just talk about, like, some of the mods and stuff that we're running here because, as you can see down on my bottom right there, uh, I have got a few on the go. Uh, the Kerbal Alarm Clock, of course, it is, like, the standard, the necessary one. It's the one that I take with me everywhere because, basically, I am absolutely rubbish at sorting out where I am going or, in fact, where I'm going to stop. I've, we've all gone flying past... Uh, the maneuver nodes far too many times. I I'm sure you guys have, because I have a lot, like a lot, a lot. That's the wrong way up, isn't it? Let's put it like this way around. Okay, cool. And maybe use a new gadget. Brilliant. I love these things. They're one of the best of uh, best additions to the game. The only problem is, of course, they don't kind of copy across well. So, like, what I'm going to do now is grab another one oh, with the place, of course, and then kind of stick it down here. But I'm not sure. Oh yeah, no, that works all right. Squad seems to have fixed that. Okay, let's sort out a little bit of the staging. So yeah, as I was saying, the 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 mods, Kerbal alarm clock, as per normal. I mean, there's no way that I was going to do without that. We've also got infernal robotics. Um, we don't have any to look at here, but I've got infernal robotics because, well, it's just one of the best things. I actually meant to be using it on uh, the last uh, the last series that we were doing, but yeah, you know, things just everything else seemed just a little bit more important, so it ended up not happening, which was a little bit little bit going but that's the way things go does it look like it should fly i think that should fly um what else have we got um kerbal attachment system and kerbal inventory system absolute must uh, all the time or at least i i think it's an absolute must all the time those or just the, the, it opens up so many possibilities i didn't really get to play with kerbal inventory system before uh, before now at any point so yeah we, i don't know what we're going to do with that um what are we going to call this one i think we're going to call this one the humbler yeah, the Humbler. Why not? Uh, and if you guys have any ideas for any other mods that I could be using, uh, I'd be very grateful if you could drop that in the comments below. I'm never really sure what would uh, sort of add to the gameplay. I'm not really looking for more parts. I'm never really looking for more parts, unless it does something so extraordinarily different. Like, I'm not... KW Rocketry, yeah, sounds good, but it's just rocket parts. Uh, speaking of which, shall we... Um... Yeah, that's some speed right there. I'm not sure how soon we have to fire these for the overheats to work. No, uh, that, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I like this nice little bar they've built in now. That, that's definitely new there, and we're definitely getting some new new records. Let's get some a crew report from up in high. Boom. Nice, nice. That's exactly what we're doing. Uh, yeah, so if you could drop me lines of different mods you guys want to want to see me play, that that would be great. Um, a particular, um, I'm thinking stuff along the lines of like maybe remote tech uh, and maybe uh, the life support systems. Uh, the main reason it's only a maybe is I know I like to have quite a freeform style to my stuff. You know, if I want my guys to travel somewhere else, I don't really want to be the lack of snacks. Oh, wow. We're going to have to watch out for this like, further on in the career mode, aren't we, when things just come down and explode? Yeah, I don't want the, the lack of snacks being the limiting factor for go, taking advantage of a, a nice little gravity assist that we find. That that would be quite terrible. Uh, yeah, and beyond that, I'm not sure. I think I might get some sort of, like, um, habitation stuff. 
<laughs> explosives I love it yeah I might get some sort of um, habitation modules or something like that I've not really had a good look around all the mods and like I, I'm sure you guys out there are gonna know more than than I am oh wow we're coming in coming in hard coming in fast Wow, that, that's something to watch out for in, uh, in the later in the career mode. I can guarantee I'm going to open my parachute too late and we're going to smash in that floor at quite a rate. Uh, so we took a career mode up high. That, that should have got us to all the science that we needed for that. So let's uh, recover this vessel. Oh, awesome. Well, this, that wasn't a terrible, terrible first flight. Um, you may have noticed I was basically not talking about it at all because, let's be honest, all I did was go straight up and came straight back down. There wasn't even that much drag or spin or anything like that to worry about there. Uh, so we got some science. That's good. We've got some parts. 98% value. That's pretty good. We landed... Well, where, where was it? We're like back here somewhere. That was, that was quite good. Uh, and we've got Jebediah. Always Jeb. But we're going to do something about that next time. But let's go and see what uh our next next adventures it are uh so we've done everything um sort of the, the extra contracts we've got all these uh, altitude distance and speed records to do so the next thing is we're trying to escape the atmosphere and then we're going to take the orbital contract just like planning for the future i'm not sure that we're going to be able to do it right now but with these extra things we're about to unlock i i think we're, we should be able to do quite well so obviously we're going to go with the uh the uh, RT uh, tens because they're, they're the best and liquid engines because they actually are the best um, gotta love that liquid fuel and we're gonna get some science and stuff though we're not really after the science at the moment it's just kind of making extra stuff uh, opening extra stuff uh, in particular I want to get down to heat shield and parachute because if we're going up into orbit we're gonna need that heat shield to get back right I, I'm not really sure I've not really played too much with stuff so gather scientific data oh, we've done all this thing about this uh, complete the contract yes we have completed the uh, scientific data altitude speed records and launch the vessel brilliant is this now no uh, all right welcome back to the launch pad we have kicked jeb to the side it's uh, finally from the word go we can get that glory seeking flyboy out of that pilot seat and get someone who actually knows what she's doing in there uh, with that said should we fly Okay, so it's the new career mode, obviously, and there, it, it could be very easy for me to fall back into the rut of just doing, like, single missions out to the moon, coming back, um, especially with, like, the perceived issue of getting out to the interplanetary destinations. Uh, obviously, with my time warping capabilities, I, I have a tendency to just kind of throw the whole system out of whack, and then I have to end up checking on things all the time. But we're not going to do all that what we're going to be doing is obviously going out to uh, interplanetary uh, uh, interplanetary targets we will be doing so damn it why does it always throw out of center when we do that i was really worried about doing this and it's done it again okay we're going to try and find our prograde marker okay reset this full throttle can we can we go full throttle we don't want to go too far over um i'm, I'm really worried about how to fly these vessels uh, the whole thing has become so, <laughs> I don't want to use it, but so twitchy since the, uh, since the time. Uh, anyway, yeah, what are my plans? I want to do more stations, more, more, more things up in space. I, I didn't really do many last time. And I'm really looking forward to these new contracts coming, like the tourist ones and the grand, the grand tour stuff that, that I've heard so much about. Um, but I've not really seen much about it, obviously, because like I've just started my career mode. I know I'm a week week late to the party, guys, but I've been waiting for some of the mods to tick over, uh, and it's still a disappointing number of mods that have ticked over. Obviously, it's all just kind of like the part stuff, uh, because with the reworking of the game, the only thing that really could carry over quite as well would be the part stuff, which is a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying, but uh, there we go. Uh, even Kerbal Attachment System is a little bit buggy. Like, the, the, the old containers out of Kerbal Attachment System are a little bit off, but if you uh, you persevere... Oh, look, we're out of, out of fuel. And you know what else I haven't done? And put a stack separator in there. That's a little bit, a little bit meh. But look at all the stuff we've done here. Uh, yeah, so plans, plans for the career. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to spend the first couple of episodes uh, doing the normal scudding around the Kerbin system because it, well, it's where we get all our money from. It's like we're going to have to spend at least some time in the next couple of episodes just walking around the uh, Kerbal Space Center and get, getting all the extra stuff there just so we can get a moon mission off early, get as many people up there as early as we can, not 
go on missions with underqualified people. That is definitely one thing we're going to do. And we're going to check the, se- uh, the the settings of our brakes more so that we're not like having to deal with the fact that like our rover on the moon won't work solely for the fact that I didn't turn the brakes off. That, that was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, and yeah, the uh, the other contracts, of course. Uh, beyond this, I'm not sure. We're just going to see what career mode really opens up to me. I'd like to nail planes again, but obviously I've been playing around a little bit in the sandbox. Uh, again, link on screen somewhere. Second today. Great, eh? Um, yeah, I've been playing around in sp- sandbox and... Yeah, I, I, if I thought it was hard last time, oh my, it is so much harder this time. I, I just cannot get it to function at all. Um, I, mean, I, can, I can get up to, or what is it, 20 kilometers? Yeah, 20 kilometers, something like that. And we get some decent, decent flight time out of it. But for actually going to space, no, I, I just cannot get it to work. I cannot get it to work at all. Right, we're going to have to uh, punch this parachute quite early, aren't we? Uh, I have noticed that the parachutes are a little bit more underpowered and I was really expected to have thrown these off. I, I really hope we don't kill Valentina on her first mission. That would be that would be totally unacceptable to be fair, but we'd have to just deal with it as it is. I, I didn't really play through with the settings on the career mode, did I? This was something that um, was a bit of an over oversight. I'll have to go back and have a look at the footage and see exactly what settings we've got. Maybe I've made some horrendous mistakes and oh god, we are going to hit the floor hard. Oh, 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 14, 13, 12. Whoa! Well, there we go. There is um, hardware assisted landing at its best. Wow, we that that could definitely have ended worse. That could have ended a lot worse. 91%. Uh, oh, it's uh, a shame to be so far away. But at the same time, we have done so many... Like, we set the distance record of 100 kilometers. That's why we were so far away. And then the rest of these are just distance records, are they? A good speed. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed about the way we uh, flipped out on that there. Uh, obviously, not enough fins in deployment. I know, I'll have to figure that out. But I will see you next time, guys, where we're going to try and get for orbit. Obviously, something we're going to do. Um, spend a little bit of this science somewhere, if we can. Uh, no, we can't. So we're going to have to go and earn some more science. Uh, and basically, get this career mode underway properly. This has just been a bit, bit of a chatting to you about what I want to do with the career mode today. So, yeah, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!